Hello and welcome back to my channel, today another Shape Origin video. This is a pencil holder I made. Look, you take a pencil, you put it in here. You see how deep it is? 7 cm. This is a 7 cm pocket cut. So how was I able to make a 7 cm deep pocket cut if the maximum depth that a Shape of Origin can cut is 4 cm? I discovered a new router bit. It's a bottom cleaning router bit, like I've shown you on my channel already, but it has a really long shank. Look at that. And so the total length of this router bit allows us to cut really deep, really deep pocket cuts like this one here, seven centimeters. Before I go into a lot of blah blah like usually, let me show you how to create this pencil holder and then afterwards we can do a debrief. Let's do it. All right, that was it. That's how you can cut really deep with your Shaper Origin. Now let me have a few words about this router bit. This router bit has a general advantage that you can cut four centimeters deep with it. So four centimeters is the regular depth that you can get with your Shaper Origin without any weird tricks like I have shown to you. And if you use a normal bottom cleaning router bit like this one, that's the one I showed you a couple months back in a video talking about uh, these bottom cleaning router bits. Here, you can't go four centimeters deep because the shank is just too short and the cutting part too. And so the total length, you need, you need to actually, like at least half of the shank you need to have in your collet so it's it has certain stability and that's why you can't get four centimeters deep with this maybe two maybe two and a half centimeters that's it if you use this one here you can easily um, achieve the four centimeters that the shaper origin um, offers without any dangerous tricks um, or any like voodoo trying to convince your shaper to go deeper and that's an advantage because two and a half or four centimeters, so it's worth it. Now what I've done here is to trick the shape origin into cutting deeper. And you have seen that before, right? So you first cut the four centimeters and then 
you move the shank a little bit down so it's deeper and then you do a new um, set touch and the shaper learns the new depth and then cuts and that's kind of a dangerous procedure because the shaper origin can no longer pull back the entire spindle um, and make the router disappear and so it's always out there right and so that that can be dangerous right and so you need to be really careful if you do something like that you need to make sure you remove just a little material so it's not too hard um, on your shaper and just make sure to always like hold it really stable and be focused on what you're doing um, but it's possible as I've shown you here you can do it but you need to be really careful now these bits are interesting they're not they're not um, really cheap so for um, the six here because they come like in a, in a box of different um, diameters um, it's like about twenty dollars per bit something like that the you know nowadays with the inflation the prices changes but it's about 20 25 bucks per bit so it's not crazy expensive because a good bit can actually cost some money but it's also not as cheap as those china bits that you get for a couple dollars um, but i think they're totally worth it they're really high quality you can easily sharpen them so you 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 realize like this is a bit that um, has a certain quality it comes with this box and this is a German brand but I've seen they ship worldwide apparently so I'll leave you um, a link in the description so you can buy these in case you're interested uh, to have this additional option when you use your Shaper Origin all right that was it that was a short video showing you how to do really deep pocket cuts I hope you liked it if you did don't forget to give me a like and to subscribe my channel and see you around.